What is up guys, Big Doubles back again with a brand new video. In this video, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to finally pursue the Archer Hunter build on Project Ascension. And so don't be surprised if for the next two or three videos we do on Ascension, they end up being Archer builds of all different kinds. For this one though, I want to tackle the Fire Archer build archetype. Why? Well, it's because it's finally been given more support with a brand new epic enchant called Combusting Shot. Now, I've been alluding to this, especially if you're in my Discord or you're a member of the channel, that uh, I've actually been trying to make this build work in the background now for uh, two weeks or something like that. I just can't roll anything right. So I'm going to give it a fresh start after putting out Turtle Wow episode five and uh, see if we can make it work on this character today. And we're going to be completing my battleground prestige daily in the process. So I hope you guys enjoy the fire archer attempt. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so in this video, I want to take the following character, Kekarino, at level 19 to start, and I want to go through my BG daily first, and do 5 BGs, so that I can actually get this done, and get 5,000 marks, as you can see, for the completion of this, as well as 150 tokens of prestige. And every single day, my friends, we approach the light, and getting to 10,000 tokens of prestige, which will, of course, be the bringer of light transmog weapon, which would be amazing, and I really hope we can end up getting that eventually. But for now, what we get from this Mark of Ascension quest will ultimately be around 16,000 marks, which is over 110 rerolls, and we're hoping 110 rerolls will land me the perfect Fire Archer build. But first, we've got to get to level 70. In order to do that, I've rolled a pretty typical no-pet hunter build, why no pet? Well, I think pets are very annoying on Project Ascension, but ultimately, if you want to do the most DPS, bite the bullet and get a pet, so there you go. But for me, I'm going to go Arcane Shot, Aspect of the Hawk, Auto Shot, and Hunter's Mark. The rest of my abilities are pretty much irrelevant right now in that regard, but I will point out one, and that is the Fire Blast. Because we are going for the Fire Archer archetype, I will use this early on, but at max, I don't plan to. However, for now, it's actually pretty solid because it scales well early on, and we're going into some early BGs. Now, as for my lucky cards... We're going to be going for Explosive Shot, Living Bomb, Explosive Trap, and Arcane Power for the regular ones, but the Lucky Cards themselves are perhaps more important for this playthrough, because they contain two abilities that are not only required to make this build actually slap, but are not actually guaranteed like my skill cards are right here. So it's all luck, all RNG, and we know how that works on this channel. Black Arrow, 8% more damage basically with all of my abilities, but not guaranteed, obviously. Really hope we get that. 50 plus, 40 plus, combustion. The whole character revolves around nailing one ability and it's combustion. Will we get it? If we have any kind of luck at all, the answer is yes. If we are me, <laughs> the answer is probably no, but we will see. Uh, and then we have the poisons because we can put instant poison on our ranged weapon and the rock fighter weapon and double down on that as well. If I don't get these, my DPS goes down, but I can still play the build. If I don't get these, I can't play the build, and I have shit DPS. Amazing, right? So that's going to be the main goal. And of course, all of this comes together, if we can land it properly, into allowing us to use a really amazing Fire Archer archetype epic enchant that just came out called Combusting Shots. For 15 seconds after consuming Combustion, the damage of Explosive Shot is increased by 20%. So Combustion gives Explosive Shot 20% more damage. And if Living Bombs on my target, 10% more crit as well. So we're supercharging the Explosive Shot with the Combustion. And it also says dealing damage with explosive shot reduces the cooldown of combustion by three seconds we're gonna double down on this effect with a little fire mage talent that you fire players out there may recognize called playing with fire playing fire says i get two percent more spell damage and in addition to that dealing direct damage with a fire ability in my case has a hundred percent chance to reduce the cooldown of combustion by one second guys this is amazing. It's also doubled for critical strikes. If you're playing an archer or a hunter build, you will know. If you're agi based as well, you're typically crit based to some degree, so that's actually even better. So, we're going to be reducing the cooldown of combustion with this build by a ridiculous amount, potentially by five seconds at a time, just from doing damage. Maybe more, maybe a little less sometimes, and that's going to be really, really strong because combustion will almost be up all the time. With it being up all the time, explosive shot is going to be supercharged, critting so hard, doing so much damage. It's going to be really, really fun, but again, We've got to get the 70 to even test that. All the other enchants will go over along the way. Now, for the low levels, though, I am going to be using Dark Arrow, Arrows of Fire, and Seething Flames. Now, two of these I actually do want to try at max. 
Arrows of Fire, and Seething Flame. Just to shorthand this right now, both of them do fire damage over time just for playing my class. Just look at it like that. But it's fire damage, and it's happening on auto attacks as well as arcane shot and stuff like that. So it's actually very thematic. Dark Arrow is a huge meme. It's really bad, but we're going to use it because I was like, what else am I going to be using at level 19? Ranged auto attacks have a 10% chance to basically summon a Skelly Guardian when the guy I'm attacking dies that I've been autoing. So interesting. I've got my Venom Strike, guys. I've got uh, just some random, you know, blue gear that I picked up because I actually had some honor on this guy. I bought some PvP gear as well. So we'll see how we do. We have Private Crub in here with his sick transmog. Of course, we've got my Silver Spectacles, which I don't remember how much I spent on this on one high night, but I I did, and uh, you know what? I don't regret it. I look pretty good. We've got Rococo. We've got Powerdin with the beautiful, beautiful green mog. This is actually worthy of winning a mog contest, if I'm totally real with you, and he's just sitting in my BG. And of course, you always got to have that one guy who literally hasn't changed his gear since he was in Northshire, Boef. And uh, you know what, man? I'll try to carry you to the best of my ability. April, I see you as well. April in, don't worry. But anyway, guys, let's just jump into this BG and see how we do. All right, there was a fire blast on that guy. I have to stop moving sometimes. I get that, guys. I understand. It just sucks in PvP. Everybody's on you. Okay, let's just go for the fire blast on that guy. Arcane shot. There you go. That guy's dead. Switching on this guy. Hunter's mark. Let's go for the hunter's mark on this guy. This guy's just letting himself get pumped right now. All right, fire blast. We have the seething flames popping up right now. Skelly archer. I'm literally a skelly archer with the dark arrow from Warcraft 3. Oh, he, oh, there's a healer. We got, we're going to go on the other guy. Hunter's mark on this guy. I'm running out of mana already, which is an F, but we're all going on the healer. Group think is working. And of course, he gets that holy. Oh, oh my God. He's going to die. The holy light was horrible. Okay, he's dead. Thank God. This guy's dead too. Yeah, we're already slapping. This is exactly what I thought, guys. It's literally exactly what I thought would happen when I noticed how much more HP I had than everybody on my team. I knew, like, I'm coming in here with a game plan and these guys are just playing for fun. Level 20. Now, I'm obviously not going to leave this one because they changed it to where you do get XP for winning a BG even if you hit the top of the level bracket. So they want it to be G-Gen. So I will give them what they want. Arcane Missiles, Ghost Wolf, Lightning Bolt. I'm going to go for something that doesn't affect my build too much. Lightning Bolt, I guess. And we're going to go straight straight for the flag because I'd like to get out of this and uh, move on to a higher level BG. I'm going to make myself extra tiny and grab the flag and I have a feeling nobody's going to contest me. I'm actually in first place right now and I don't know how that happened, but we're probably going to get left in the dust. Oh, we got a guy coming for us. We got two guys. Oh no, it's Selene and Charlie no one. Will they be able to kill me? It seems like I can just run away. It seems like I can just run away. No sprint, no travel form, no go. Oh, this guy even had Ghost Wolf the whole time, but he just realized it and put it on his bar. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, man, because we are way far away at this point. Look at them run, man. That has to suck. You see that one night elf in the back? She's like giving up. She's like, okay, he capped. I'm just going to go do other things right now. I'm so sorry, bro. Blow the horn just to let everybody know we're successful. Oh, there comes somebody. Oh no, I accidentally ran towards him. Let's go for the fire blast. Oh, we have an arrows of fire proc on her. Okay, now she's going to get a psychic scream right back to her face. GG. I am literally the equivalent of three regular players right now because of gear. Don't you love it? All right, let's cap. Boom. Nice. I am now Master Sergeant Kekarino, by the way. Can we kill this guy? Just to add insult to injury. He came all this way, healed at the wrong moment, and just died. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna die at the end of it, but we capped, so I'll definitely take it. Yeah, I'm dead, GG. Okay, so what do you do in this scenario where your team has the flag and the enemy team has the flag? Well, you either defend the guy with your flag, but when you look at mine and you see that he doesn't need my help, you then go straight for the enemy that has our flag and you try to kill him. So Charlie, no one. I <laughs> oh, it would be just me, man. It would be just me going for this guy. Actually, April Lynn's trying, but she's melee. So nobody can say anything about her. All right, this guy's dead. Boom. Nice. 81 crit is big right now. He insta. He insta freaking released, man. I love that. Let's go for the flag now. Uh, Skelly on a pink Alec. I'm pretty confident our dude's gonna cap now. I'd be very surprised if he didn't, but if he doesn't, it's okay because I will cap anyway. I'm also in first place still, but not in damage. You can see I'm being a lot more defensive. I'm trying to go for people with the flag. I'm trying to get the flag myself. Like, that's my purpose. All right, make ourselves a tiny skelly. We know how it works. Oh, here comes hotness. Oh, nope, they're running away. They're like, you know what? Even if he is going for our flag, I can't kill him anyway. All right, flag respawn. Nice handy dandy add-on. Boom. Blow the horn for good luck. Take the uh, speed boost that the level 10 didn't take for some reason. Everybody on the enemy team doesn't even know I'm right behind them right now. I'm only painting the picture. I'm not judging. I'm only painting a picture. I'm just going to run right through the battle. <laughs> I'm just gonna run right on through and pretend like I'm just supposed to be here. And I, nope, nobody noticed. Not a single one of them happened to realize it. It was only all of them. I mean, look, I didn't say anything. You guys are thinking it. I'm not saying anything bad. What I know I'm gonna do though is cap this flag and win the BG for my team. 
There you go. Level 22. Twin Peaks Perfection and Two Timer. Don't mind if I do. Ghost Wolf, they really want me to have this. Mongoose Bite Healing Touch. I'm gonna go Mongoose Bite. Okay, I'll be honest. I had a lot of fun, so let's go ahead and queue up again. Level 22. Bottom of the bracket this time. We'll see if we can still make a difference. All right, Eye of the Storm. You know what? I got 228s on my team, so I think I win. I went ahead and got three points and improved Arcane Shot for 15% more damage. This is the bulk of my damage right now anyway, so obviously that's a pretty big boon. We'll see if it uh, does any good. This is one of those BGs that I don't really understand how to carry on my own. There's just so much going on, but most of the time people seem to go 2-2 and then go for the flag, but sometimes it gets really weird, and uh, those are the times that I like to go for a third cap, but we'll see if we have to do that. Ooh, let's see what we get. Hand of Reckoning, Mind Blast, Smite. All bad. Mind blast, I guess. Okay, so I finally killed Lapoopy. And you know what? If you're watching right now, Lapoopy, I really hate you. But you know what? Fine. It is what it is, right? Can I actually get some more kills? And will we still win this BG? Find out soon. All right, what do we get? We get the Earthquake, Drain Life, Fireball. I'll go Fireball just in case. You never know. Can I kill Nikos with auto attacks, Arcane Shot? Oh, nope. He's going to get healed by Carrick. Okay, Carrick. Carrot boy, let's go for it. All right, Lapoopy in the back at level 30, trying to ruin my day as she tends to do. All right, going. <laughs> Look at these two little noobs on me. And here I am. No speed boost. Oh, got him in a ditch. <laughs> okay, come on, Carrot. You got it, buddy. Come on, you both can do this. It's only 2v1 with a pet. It's okay. It's only 2v1. Oh, 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 Nico's just like, damn it, dude. Why am I here? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Why am I here? Why are we all here just to suffer? I'm only level 24. And not only that, I have no mana. This dude is really a tryhard with his little silver spectacles transmog. I wouldn't be happy right now if I was, you know, losing like this. Uh, but he, this guy can't be. Let's go for the Mind Blast. Let's go for the Fire Blast. Oh, this is actually so fun. Even though Lapoopy tried to ruin my day earlier. This is, wait, oh my god, Lapoopy had her pet on me the entire time. Oh, what do we get at 29? Disarm? Blessing of Might, Farsight. Disarm would be if I was actually trying to make a PvP spec, right? And that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go Blessing of Might. Lapoopy just told me to die in Orkish, and she's a gnome. I don't even know how to explain that one to you guys. And so I jumped off the cliff. Look, not everybody deserves that maneuver, but Lapoopy does. Come on, Alan Aaron. Die. A slow and painful death with auto shots, fire attacks, seething flames, arcane shot. And maybe, maybe after the next BG, mind blast more often as well. Come on, arcane shot. This should be it, right? Nope, she got to heal somewhere. I'm literally in the middle of the fight. This hotness person's healing now. I wish, I wish, I wish I had mind blast with healing reduction. Can we kill Nikos though? I would love to kill this guy. Oh, they all have a heal, man. Look at me being a little tryhard going behind. I hate LOS so much, by the way. Like I know it's a part of the game and I will utilize it as I can, but I think LOS is so garbage. I hate that mechanic so much. Like just imagine that with certain abilities and certain bits of RNG or even certain matchups, somebody can invalidate everything about what you are by going behind a wall for a moment. I think that guy's gonna cap and we're definitely winning at 1500 to 777. Okay, level 31. All right, let's see. What we got flash of light hand of freedom mind control i'm gonna go for mind control for god to be honest that sounds like a lot of fun okay i'll take this score to be honest with you like i actually went for flag caps and stuff like that but okay level 31 off that 21 off the first one i'll take it okay level 32 just gotten another bg but there's only 13 minutes left let's see exorcism blink feign death um let's see i kind of want avatar i don't think the other legendaries matter i'm just gonna go blink so that's actually really sick because it acts as both a way to close a gap and to get away from somebody, right? So for an archer build, that's pretty sick. Because I got into a BG that's already started though, especially with this guy at the top already, I'm just going to keep going for the flag. So let's get real tiny. That's how we do it. That's what guarantees us the luck. I'm going to go for the speed boost. Deja vu. And let's see if we can make this BG happen. I really, really wish I had slow fall. Wait, wait, wait. Can I proc it? Please let me proc it. Please hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, hurry while I'm still kind of fast. Damn it. I oh, no. Oh, God. Come on. Where is it? Get away from me, Plopu. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the... F oh, I'm just going to jump. I'm just going to jump. And we're just going to blink. Oh, my God. It's the best I could do, guys. I got so unlucky. So unlucky, guys, that I did not get the slow fall effect off my noggin fogger. Like, actually intensely unlucky. Here comes the cavalry. Will I be okay? I racialed. Just for the armor. Just for the armor, let's go for the greater heal. He mind blasted me. He's actually good, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, really good for him, obviously, to be good. I had to scream to my team to help me. They all abandoned me. Okay, after literally years of trying to kill this guy, 
my team finally got him and I gained a level, which is pretty nice. Now, one thing that I'm definitely not doing right is I don't have my flag on my bar. Let's put that on the bar. So now I can do a pensive sad face whenever I kill somebody. You got to get your BM meta up. Like you can't type things that are bad, right? You got to keep it to other things. So what are those other things? Typically it's emotes and also flags of ownership, right? Now, unfortunately, we're getting to those brackets where having four or five levels on someone is actually a really, really huge deal. So I'm gonna start needing gear if I don't out-level this bracket by the end of it. Looks like they do actually have the flag too. Why are they fighting here? Oh, oh, here they come, here they come. I'm just gonna go ahead and blink, go for the low level because I do more damage to her. Oh, here comes Among Us, he's here. All right, let's go on the little girl again, like I said. All I can do is go on the little girl, okay? Uh, this doesn't sound right. I apologize, guys, but you know what I mean. Go on. The, I mean the low-level female night elf. There you go. Ellis debt. Let's mind blast her. Just keep going for the auto attack, seething flame procs, anything like that that we can get. Look at this dude. He's still on me, but he doesn't do any damage. I love low level PvP. If only max level PvP resembled something even remotely close. All right, we're still like waiting for this guy to die. Among Us is gonna die. He is Among Us, but he's not gonna last much longer. Because someday these autos are gonna get him. These 20 freaking autos, 14 on that one. A 14 on that one. Auto, boom, dead with the arcane shot. I went behind this wall real quick so he couldn't get the second charge off. I'm just gonna play from the fringes. Actually, let's go for the speed boost. Oh, I'm slow because I have the flag. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die, I have no mana. Oh my, I might die. I might actually die. Oh yes, oh my God, this person's actually so good at the game. This, she's so good at the game. Oh, please cap, bro. Yeah. Yes, dude, we're gonna win. We just tied it up with four minutes left. Geg fan. MVP. Look, guys, that was actually as good as it gets. Like, I ran towards my teammate when I was going to die, hoping that when I died, she would grab the flag. The ball was in her court. Was she going to be good at the game in that moment? Typically, I'm let down, but in this moment, she proved that she was a good player. That's a really awesome moment. Oh, level 34. There's the explosive trap, guys. Let's take it. I don't know if I'll use it right now, but hey, might as well if there's a melee, just drop it on the ground. Okay, our teammate picked up the flag. It's actually Nikos from a previous game. Okay, so my guy has the flag. I don't think I should be protecting him. I think I should be going for the EFC, which is this guy right here. Okay, let's go. Fire Blast? Actually, no. Go for the Mind Blast. I took the talents, guys. I actually did take the talents. I'm actually going to go for a Mind Control on Plopu. No, not a Greater Heal, a Mind Control. Oh. All right, let's get her away. Let's get this little freaking pigtail girl. No, 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 no. Yes, the dude died because I Mind Controlled the healer. Oh my god, that has to suck. So guys, we just pulled this game out of the swamps. Fact of the matter is I got in here and we were down one cap with 13 minutes left. I got in here and now we're up two. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, got the flag, just got real tiny. We all know how this works at this point. Going for the speed boost as well. Now this time, oh, I got the slow fall. I finally got it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Jumping, slowing in the falling. You know how it is. Wow, dude, we just made such great progress and none of them are going for me. Oh, the game's over anyway. Level 36, let's see. Tracking mastery, conjure water, water walking. I actually could go for the water walking. Okay, so I just mind controlled someone on top of my trap and I felt so proud of that move. So I just had to tell you guys about it. But we're in another BG now, level 37. Just got a brand new bow, by the way, monolithic bow. One thing I love about leveling again and prestiging properly and not just doing a 15 or a one to 70 is that I actually get to use items like that again. Okay, so I am out of mana. This needs to be fixed, but it won't be fixed until I'm after level 40 uh, due to talents I know I can pick up. So I'm just an auto attack machine. Damn, this is gonna be my first loss and it was a really sad one. We just caught five capped i ran out of mana and i just kept autoing with my pal and apparently they back capped and the rest of our team is getting farmed at the graveyard so it's not like entirely our fault it's one of those things where it just happens sometimes this dude's void walker by the way has not despawned holy crap they're all the way at farm why is this thing still on me isn't it supposed to go away ascension come on now okay at least i got a level off it let's see righteous defense stone claw totem intimidating shouts i probably shouldn't take an epic like that right now so i'm just gonna go for the righteous defense because it doesn't actually affect my build at least i had the most damage for my team okay guys nice fun map snowy arathi basin please die bro don't do this to us oh got you with a 222 crit oh spawned a little mindless skeleton Finally, the dark arrow works, and guess what? No one's around to take it. Okay, I'm pulling up on uh, Blacksmith. It's a really blizzardy day. Okay, so I did just cap Blacksmith, but they pulled up on me, and they're gonna recap it. I do want to tell you guys something, or ask, rather, uh, as we go look for a way to heal ourselves. 
Oh my god, we're gonna get four capped again. But one thing I do want to say is this. I put up a poll the other day asking you guys what you thought about Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and I'm actually genuinely curious because people have been giving me positive responses. Listen, we all know Blizzard sucks. I don't even feel like a mean person or a private server shill by saying it. I just happen to exist as a content creator in an era where Blizzard actually does suck. And it's not really an opinion anymore. Like, you can still like the game. You can separate your thoughts, you know, I guess, if you want to do that. You could be like, hey, uh, it's the people at Blizzard, but maybe you still like the game. Fine. I, I don't know. But the point of the matter is, Wrath of the Lich King actually does have a lot of nostalgia for me. It's the first real expansion for, uh, like, little kid McDoubles. Yeah, I did play expansions before that, but I was a kid, right? So I never got to max in those expansions. I did not raid. Most people didn't raid in TBC, okay? That doesn't say much. That's why we all thought those people that did that stuff were really good at the game because we were like holy crap nobody's doing it but them turns out it's because they were probably more of the guys with more time on their hands and they were adults and most of us were like 14 and had to go to school for like eight and a half hours you know what i mean but we don't have to talk about that now we don't have to talk about the fact that everybody's a pro at this game once the general player base is between the ages of 25 and 35 yeah it's it's not no i guess we all kind of understand that this was never about skill but we didn't know it back then because we were children most of the time or you know really young adults but the point is this wrath has a lot of nostalgia for for me i do want to play wrath i think the turtle wow series i did kind of proved to me that i can do longer series like that if i really you know know life and grind uh and it's still going to be entertaining i just have to make it actually happen quickly which means i very much got to be diligent but i do just want to know what y'all's opinions are because i will not make wrath content in place of private server content why because this is my thing right now and so i have some loyalty to it and to you guys ascension koa turtle wow even any custom servers that we can actually showcase that are actually worthy of showcasing and are fun these are things that i want to do but if you guys wanted to see like me level up a pally or something like that because that was my original main by the way and it's really strong in wrath i might be open to doing that because there's an axe i really want to get from uh, one of the uh, three dungeons that come out at one point, like uh, Pit of Sauron and stuff like that. There's a 2H Epic Axe. To this day, I can't remember what it is, and I've refrained from trying to look it up because I want to keep up the mystique. That's how I do things. That's why I still get happy and excited. I don't go out of my way to retain every little bit of knowledge for every expansion, and I kind of just want to do that again, and I think at that point, I'd be willing to quit, especially if the uh, server was bad, because I don't really want to play on like Warmain or something like that, like a private server for Wrath. I kind of would just rather play the custom stuff like i already do because that's where my interest lies but this has to be something you guys want so even though like 45 percent of you are basically like yeah wrath classic sounds like a good idea i know not everybody votes on the polls and so let me know in the comment section below what you think all right can we solo two dads let's go for the mind blast because he's regrowthing let's blink into the trap he's not going to move on the trap okay we got duff mcduff coming to ruin my freaking life i'm going to trinket that should have trinketed slightly sooner sadly i uh, i didn't right let's just put it at that mind blast on the regrowth he's going to die all right, he's dead. Nice. We kill Duff McDuff to level 30. I just have auto attacks. If you die... Oh my god, I actually reduced the uh, mana cost of Hunter's Mark to zero with some talents. So I can use it when I get screwed like this. Come on, Duff McDuff. Come on, really? Please, please die. Please die. Please die to autos, dude. No, why do you have to have a heal? At least he has low mana. It's not impossible. There's an arcane shot. Wow. There is an arcane shot. I actually slapped so hard with arcane shot. I hope nobody shows up. Please, nobody show up. Dude, this guy's so embarrassed if he loses. He has to... No, he has a five second stun. Oh my God, Duff McDuff. You're putting me through a roller coaster of emotions, my friend. Why? All right, you're dead, right? Boom. <laughs> Oh, and he gets the flag, and I get a skelly, and I defended the only base we have. So this is probably a loss, because it looks like they've got, like, a super-powered guy on their team, but I'm really trying hard. I have two bases assaulted, one base defended, probably close to the most damage on my team. Yeah, I have the most damage on my team. And when I'm going oom, that's really sad. Let's see, do we get anything from these spoils, by the way? A monolithic bow, now I wish I didn't buy one. Ooh, Obsidian Cleaver. I'm just gonna use that. Ooh, Basilisk Hide Pants. Huge upgrade. Okay. Holy crap. Hawkeye Gloves. If I didn't have a plus seven Agi enchant off this Gloves of the Fang that I got off the AH, I would actually use that. Ooh, but Glyphed Bracers. Another upgrade. God, I love these satchels. By the way, I think they fixed it. I think I complained enough and they finally fixed it. I've gotten no level 50 satchels so far. I'm actually getting level appropriate satchels, which is wonderful. I'm just gonna keep defending this because I think it's a free loss. But yeah, guys, this is guaranteed that we go over level 40. So that's pretty sick.
Okay, so much for over level 40. We got level 40 itself, and we got the arcane... Oh, bro, do I take true shot? Well, the fact of the matter is, epics are really easy to get nowadays, and that's so weird to say. It just freaking changes. Well, first of all, it changes based on the build too, right? And for this one in particular, like, the only one I really need is combustion arcane power. That's basically it. So if I look at epics right now, I have to really think. I have mind control. I'm probably going to get what I want. So in other words, I might just get arcane power and I have a way higher chance of getting arcane power than I do of getting true shot. Because if I look at my rares right now, you might think McDoubles, you only have three. Oh, but must I remind you, look at my skill cards. One, two, I need those. One, one more right there. I really need that. And then I have Rockbiter right there as well. Oh, okay. So I guess that's actually enough to say that that's probably the eight cap, soft cap rather. So I probably shouldn't true shot. Okay, I guess with that in mind, I really don't want to screw myself over. I'm just going to go for the arcane power like I was supposed to, but that's a really tough one, man. And it does show you sometimes you really need to think. For example, if the soft cap is more than eight, I'm probably making a bad decision here. But the black arrow is so important and I'm already about to really start limiting what I can get when I get the explosive shot and the living bomb post 60. So unless I get lucky with black arrow in my 50s, I mean, that could be the one thing we don't get and we could get screwed, but let's just go arcane power. It is 15% more damage. It's very good for the burst phase. You can actually raise it up to 20% more damage. Yeah, I'll take it. So I'm just going to say right now, I'm going to go ahead and do some kind of AMA at the end of this video because that's my thing right now as well. But I do want to give a quick shout out to uh, John Salazar from a few weeks ago, actually. Once again, I do read out the super thanks when I get them. It's not required though, and I don't expect to get them with every video, but it is an option if you want to get something out to me. But he did ask for a cat build. I am actually working on that. I was using a Lucifer build, but I was afraid you guys might not want to see it because the way Lucifer ends up being, it's not that impressive i might still put that video out and work on that video more though but just so you know i haven't forgot about all of you begging for a cat build video it's just a combination of it being a little too meta and also the ones that aren't meta are really really hard to build or it probably don't work at all but don't worry, it will happen. Just have faith. Oh, by the way, the daily's complete, so we can actually start going a little bit faster. I'm going to finish out this BG, but uh, I don't know how good we're going to do because we're at the bottom of the bracket. And as I said, as you get higher in the brackets, levels and gear matter more and more. The game is 0-0 with seven minutes left and everybody's fighting in the middle. I have somebody chasing me with a huge level advantage. I'm going to go this way to get away from them. I'm going to totally trick them. <laughs> They didn't realize it was happening at all. I might have totally tricked him. They might not. Oh, no. He pulled up on me. Dude, I did trick that guy. He's up above me. He's like, where the hell is this guy? Now you have that on video, dude. That has to suck. Please, no charge. All right, I'm a skelly. I kind of blend in. I got to get small. Please protect me, guys. Please protect me. You all have no excuse right now not to be protecting me. And yet none of them are. I see why it's zero, 0 Oh, I'm getting healed. I'm getting healed by a Chad. Oh, I take it all back. Don't judge too quickly. Don't judge too quickly. A lesson to all of you today. Do not start getting upset before you truly know the answer because you might be surprised. I get it. It's only one guy and realistically the other eight let me down. But still, I think we just won the game because of that dude's heals. Like actually would not have made it without the heals. I don't know who it was, but he knows and all of you know because you're watching it right now. So honestly, hype, dude. I can't believe I just pulled up into this BG and instantly won it for my entire team. Like, there you go. Okay, I, pull up. I can't believe it, dude. This happens more often than you guys might think. I'm telling my team where this guy is. Top, not tongue. I might die, though. But what I want to do is pull him towards the graveyard. I'm not trying to get auto attacks right now, so nobody needs to leave a comment saying you can't move because you're not getting auto attacks. I've always known it. There's probably always a reason in the video that I'm moving, but it's okay. We don't have to get into that right now. All I have to know is that I was right right now and this guy's gonna get owned because he was greedy and he wanted me to die. I pulled him towards the graveyard, he's dead, boom. I even got to return the flag, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna defend until the end of the game. And so the risks begin. Ultimately, guys, one of the ways I could take this build is pyro shot. And I think this is actually a really good time to talk about why I'm not going to take this risk. See, as I just told you guys when deciding between an epic and a rare earlier, I am basically very strapped for rares. Based on what I know of the soft cap and stuff like that, they have seemingly failed on the design of some of these newer enchants because they require way too many rares and it seemingly is impossible to roll everything you need guaranteed. I think when you're constantly creating such amazing new stuff and I do give them credit for it, I love this design with stuff like combusting shot as an example and all the other things we've played recently. So yeah, even though I think the new design of their stuff is really good, it's not really feasible a lot of the times. But once again, if I take this aim shot, 
I probably am not going to get all the rares I need. And that means probably like Black Arrow just missed immediately. If I don't have Black Arrow, the build's not playable. But I can play a version without aim shot. And I'm going to go for the Capacitor Totem as a result of that too. It's a free stun. It's pretty good in everything. And uh, I can also use it for open world and for PvP. But I just wanted to really deeply explain why. If I want to go for a Pyro Shot build, I think I need to do something that's not combusting shots. At the moment, as you can see, I'm an SFK. Like I said, my BG Daily is done. So uh, we can prioritize getting to max okay there's the explosive trap right off the bat it's actually pretty good right now at this level and of course we're getting bodied still by that guy but still doing pretty good at this level i think we're literally gonna hit 50 exactly as i predicted if not higher there you go level 51 okay fine you got me smite circle of healing eagle eye okay let's go for the smite still no combustion worthy of being pointed out let's queue again oh my god we got the black arrow lucky card boys okay that's actually the most important thing i mean combustion actually is the most important but that was the second most important thing but every second i go without combustion i feel like i'm getting a little bit further from the light <laughs> Okay, a little scuffed in the beginning. I kited too far outside of the range of my capacitor totem. Got a little cocky on the 20-yard range there, but uh, yeah, we destroyed that guy. GG to him. He's a good sport. He bowed to me at the end. I will say, I didn't expect to find anybody out here in PvP this late into the expansion while leveling. But we did, so yeah, even more kudos to that guy. Level 65, guys, I picked up the Moonkin form. I don't know if this will be good, but what other legendaries could I use, right? So we'll see. Might still be decent. No combustion yet, and that's really scary. I did already do 26 rerolls, just the uh, free ones you get while leveling. But luckily, I will have more marks than we originally thought. I forgot you do get some just while leveling. Uh, so I think I'm going to be closer to 20,000 marks, maybe like 140 rerolls, 130, something like that. So all we really need is the combustion to make this build work, guys. I'm gonna get five levels as quick as I can and we'll see if we nail a perfect build. I'll see you guys at max Guys, I just got combustion offered to me with 82 rolls left. Holy crap. It's happening. I think it's happening Okay, uh, I just gotta free up a talent point We'll figure this out But for now combustion and I can replace blessing of my guys. We did it this version of the build is playable. Oh my god, and poisons. Holy crap. Oh, and I can give her a fireball. Oh, I just got Death Wish offered to me. I'm still pondering it. Let's see if I can even take it. Yeah, I can take it over Heroic Strike. I think I'm just going to do it. Okay, guys, we rolled a pretty perfect build. Living Bomb, Black Arrow, Explosive Shot, Arcane Shot, Explosive Trap, don't have the immolate trap. That's fine. I think we'll be able to get by without it. We didn't get rock biter weapons, but we did get poisons, which means I could put instant poison on my bow. I'm going to slap some enchants on it and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I did basically sneak into a heroic SSC. We're going to just do this for loot, by the way, guys, because right now my theory craft, I'm not pulling good DPS, but... I just spoke to somebody who calls themselves Ellie Bear, and I spoke to them because I realized they're doing a very similar build on the Hero Architect. It's not the one I'm doing, it's not fire-based, it is kind of, but it's also very different at the same time. I think this was actually created before the patch, but there's no combusting shots, for example. They told me that this entire build relies on gear, and that you need over 60% crit so you can smooth out the rotation. I was well aware that it played around Thrill of the Hunt, which is why I'm using it, but they basically said what I thought they were going to say, except it's confirmed and that makes me feel better. And once again, I need gear, so we're just gonna go for it. I just picked up a Band of Vile Aggression, 135 item level. This has 28 crit on it. It's perfect. And we're going to replace that eye of the stalker you see right there as well. I also picked up this rift stalker leggings from a normal SSC I did when I was doing a Lucifer build. Maybe you'll see that video if I put it out. So yeah, we're actually doing pretty good getting new gear so far. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. Boom. Huge upgrade with that crit. Imagine rolling a cool 99 at the end on uh, <laughs> the gloves of the vanquished defenders drop, which is going to give me a two piece T5, by the way. 
um, which is uh, apparently 3% more agi and intellect. I did win, right? Like, I don't think anybody got better than a 99. Somebody got a 93. I really made the guy that got a 90 sad. I know it. God, it feels good, man. It feels good to win some rolls on really good stuff. Like, I need some of this new gear because uh, we definitely took a bit of a break with Turtle Wow and stuff on the downside between Mactherodons and Gruel's Lair. You know, now that SSC is out, we can get some better stuff and boom! That's what I'm talking about. Look, I don't feel bad at all. You know what? There's like two other ways that you can actually make loot happen in raids, and I think both of them are just awful for regular people. So, for example, you can either be in a guild where... Can you guys even imagine that once upon a time people actually thought this was okay? Some of you guys might still think it is, probably because you're on the in crowd, but you'll have like a guild, right? And they are only going to give gear to people who they deem as the ones that deserve it. Okay, if you do the most damage, you get the gear. Or if you happen to play a class that's not the best right now, hey, I guess you just don't deserve to have any fun, man. The other way is GDKP, which by the way is just code for if you're rich, you get everything you want. Which basically in Ascension means if you buy the most gold, you get everything you want. That's why I don't like it as well. And you could say it's no different for actual WoW because of WoW tokens and stuff. So I'm not a big fan of that either because uh, I'd rather just like have a freaking free-for-all and see who wins it based on luck. Because look at this guy, like no hate on this guy, but he wants to buy what I just won for 3k gold. Which literally proves my point that if we were doing a GDKP run, I wouldn't have got this upgrade right now. It would have been the rich guy. The only way I can see giving loot to the most valuable player as being okay is if you're in like a number one progression guild where you're trying to give the classes that do the most damage the most gear because you want to come in like, you know, rank one for who got the raid done, you know, stuff like that. But most people, that doesn't matter. It just trickles down because people pretend that's what they're doing, but in reality, they're just being selfish and they want all the loot. That's what it boils down to with like your average guild. That's why I've always been against the hierarchies in game and stuff like that. I think it's the root of all evil with MMOs, to be honest with you. But this is not the video for that. The point is, we're going to keep doing SSC, keep doing subpar DPS, and yet still winning all the roles so that we can do good DPS in future M+. This dude just offered me 5,000 gold for these gloves. Like, that's actually insane. I won't lie, even though I kind of kept it cool here, I was actually thinking like, holy shit, that's a lot of gold. That's like 10 more prestige runs where I get to buy every single aura. But ultimately, it's just more important to me to have the gear. I had a feeling combusting shots was going to be one of the more memeish ones that we played, but it's too badass to pass up. Okay, so the only thing that dropped off of Morgrum was uh, Mantle of the Tireless Tracker. I do hope I win this. It would be really nice. 36 crit. Okay, here we go. Damn it, I rolled a 13. Okay, GG on that. Nope. So I didn't end up getting anything else from that heroic SSC, but I did test this build in an M+, specifically the Architraz, and it was just a plus three. What I learned from doing this was that obviously my build is good at what you think my build would be good at, which is M+, AoE. You can see in the background, even with this level of gear and not being as efficient yet with crit, because we have to get the RNG in our favor in order to get the gear for that to happen, we still pump, and we pump higher than everybody else, and that's pretty freaking fun. It is really weird sometimes, like going back to some of these builds with really high requirements on efficiency in order to be successful, and then doing DPS that feels similar to like that first two, three weeks of TBC with some other builds, but one of the things I'm most excited for by playing this character in this Combusting Shots build is the prospects of playing other Archer builds now and having the gear to truly, truly pump. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of Archer you'd want to see in the next video, by the way, whether that's like Locust Stranger or uh, Arcane Gunslinger, even trying to make a Pyro Shot Hunter work or Shadow Hunter, or who knows? I don't know, but let me know. But anyway, M+, obviously, pretty good build for that. Got to get more gear, but I'd say we're off to a good start. So overall, I think this build is literally just a Seething Flames explosive shot build, but you throw in combusting shots now over something that you would have used before. So, for example, if we go to the Hero Architect and I look up explosive shot, you've got the Jordan build, oh, we got the Ellie Bear build, right? These are Seething Flames builds, guys. They use arrows of fire, they use trick shots now, and controlled explosion. So I feel like you just take out the trick shots, you don't use the Serpent Sting, you use Living Bomb instead, and uh, then you replace the trick shot, of course, with the combusting shot. What you're going to do is you're going to pop the combustion and you see, okay, you don't have the uh, special buff yet because what you have to do is consume combustion in order to get it. So what I did is I created a combustion macro, one that simultaneously uses it and if you click it again, cancels it. And you can see when I cancel it, I actually do get the combusting shots thing. So this is 20% more damage and then with a living bomb up, 10% more crit for explosive shot. I feel like there's no way that's bad. There's just no way that doesn't equal a crap ton of damage. Considering the fact that Explo Shot builds literally just want more explosive shot damage 
and more crit. And this is doing that. So it acts kind of like another arcane power, if I'm completely honest with you. What I basically do is wait till I get my first lock and load proc, and then I use combustion. But I feel like we're just gonna have to get gear another day, and the gear, of course, will increase the efficacy of the build. But I did just want to point out that I really do think this is just one of these two builds that already exists and is already fine, but you use combusting shots. Like, I think that's what this ended up being. But it's still pretty sick, right? I really like the addition of it. I think it's so wonky that it forces somebody to really think, and, and I don't think a lot of people were just canceling combustion the way I do. I think a lot of people are trying to actually consume it properly with like a pyro proc or something. And I still think that's how you can do it and it might be better. But this lets you stay agi, lets you stay very traditional and uh, makes the rotation ridiculously simple. How many times am I gonna get put in slabs when I wanna record? Like, how many times? Well, I did just wanna show you guys how this build works. So I queued up for an M0, and we do need a weapon, by the way, specifically a gun or a bow or a crossbow. It's my only PvP piece of gear on this Agi guy right now. I do have throwing weapons I can use that are PvE, but obviously you can't use it for an actual range spec. I wanna show you how this works, though. Explosive trap on the ground. Go for the living bomb, go for the combustion, I can just show you right. More damage right now, got a proc, I'm getting even more damage. And I'm using it on a living bomb target, even more crit. I can living bomb this guy, go for a, uh, actually no, that guy died, lol. Living bomb this guy, okay, he's dead, lol. We did not do half bad, we lost to a boom chicken, pretty much to be expected in that regard. I think the cool thing about this build is that we've set it up to where we're constantly lowering the cooldown of combustion, and that means it's not really like arcane power, because it's probably, if I had to guess, on more of a 40 second or 30 second cooldown. That's a pretty big difference over a minute and a half. I know it's kind of implied that this is just an explo shot spam build, but there is actually nuance to it. So first of all, like I said, I need more crit. If I had more crit, everything would be smoother. But the way it works right now is that uh, I do essentially just go for uh, explo shot, arcane shot, uh, keep the black arrow up, living bomb, I keep up. I let it blow up first and reapply it if I can. Go for the explo shot again, multi shot right here. Let's go for the trap and I die. Nice, okay. I was in first when I died though. But my point is, even though it's an explo shot build, there's a lot of little things you have to do. So for example, you always want to let the entirety of your explosive shot actually go off before throwing another one on the target. If you don't do that, holy crap, they're coming for me. If you don't do that, then you're going to waste damage. And uh, it is actually a big difference. It's not just a min max thing. Like sometimes I'll tell you guys, listen, you don't really have to do X thing because X thing is really try hard and it really doesn't make a big difference anyway. But sometimes, it really does make a big difference and that needs to be differentiated properly and so in this regard uh, you always want to make sure that entire explosive shot gets the damage off so one of the things you can do and uh, I've seen some other people talk about this as well is that when your explosive shot is about to tick off that's when you go for the next one you don't waste any damage you get more damage off as a result of that it's kind of very smooth the problem is with low crit sometimes you do obviously end up sitting there for a moment and maybe you can sneak in a multi shot so you don't waste the lock and load proc like I said so with that being said the build is actually a little bit more complex than it's given credit for by me of course because i don't know who else is actually not giving credit to it but wow isn't it amazing that i'm actually in first place dps right now okay 5k single target i mean for what's going on right now and the efficacy of the build 5.2k i'm actually gonna take that i'm actually super happy with that is there even anything i can get from this dungeon or am i here for no reason oh my god wrathfire hand cannon yes there is a reason to stay that's gonna be on grandmaster vorpal god i hope that drops where's my trap launcher why is there no trap launcher actually they've already added so many things from wrath uh into the game even from cataclysm you would think maybe they'd be like you know what trap launcher that should be in the game so you do have mana problems but i feel like all the builds like this have mana problems that's actually one reason i'm excited to try arcane gunslingers because of arcane concentration once again the one time i remember trying it like a month ago it completely fixed all the mana problems the build had what can i say guys sometimes it's just meant to be and oh my god what I think this DPS might actually steal my gun. Wow. Wow, this guy is actually such a good guy. I was gonna have to log on to other characters, scrounge up 200G, and I was gonna offer it to him. He said 50. I said, okay, that's fine, but let me be real. I don't have that on me right now. I literally only have 47. I didn't want him to think I was an asshole if I offered that to him because he was already giving me a deal in my head. The guy then trades it to me and gives it to me for free. So at any point when you think that there's nobody good left, man, just remember my cock hurts. Damn it! <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. It was almost perfect, dude. Holy freaking crap, though. Isn't this thing beautiful? Oh my god, that thing is freaking beautiful. And by the way, fully PvE powered out, guys. I don't know why we're clearing this, by the way. We could totally skip it. This is actually huge, guys. It's crit, it's AP, it's everything I need to start off my Archer build series with proper gear. I'm excited. This is awesome. And once again, even though your name got me, bro, thank you. Thank you for existing. 
Thank you for being a naturally kind person, man. Literally, you were paying so much for 14 stam on the one I have right now, it's not even funny. All right, let's go for the Girdle of Ferocity. Leggings of Assassination, I'm gonna go a little pass on that and pass on the Primal Nether. Wow, we won the Girdle of Ferocity too. GG, guys. Okay, so Girdle of Ferocity, that's obviously a really big difference. Like, I can't even believe that I was gonna get 20 more AP, one Agi, one Int, and more hit rating from the Girdle of Ferocity. Like, that's so crazy big for something that seemingly shouldn't be that big of a difference. So we came in first place DPS at the end on Murmur, which is not too bad either. I'm pretty happy with this build. I think that this is Seething Flames, right? But uh, it's Seething Flames with an extra damage cooldown that's thematic and allows you to be super duper all about fire with the combustion. I think it works. And if we had 60% plus crit baseline or something like that, a lot more crit basically, uh, it would be really, really good, not just good. So, and now I don't have to use a PVP weapon anymore for my bow or gun slot. Wow. Just wow. It's literally the coolest gun in the game. I'm, I'm gonna keep it, dude. I'm gonna keep it for transmog way after I stop using it. That's just awesome. So one thing I want to do this week, instead of doing the AMA, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to make the focus of this uh, community section of the video, we could just say. Uh, I love this. It's morphing over time, you know? That's one of the cool things about YouTube. You literally never know what's gonna happen with the dude you're watching next, man. Uh, but I want to make it focus on the poll I talked about in the middle of this video, and I want to talk a little bit about Wrath Classic, just for maybe a couple Okay, guys, so what I have right here is literally the poll itself. I do a lot of polls, and a lot of you guys do actually show up and vote in them. So I asked you guys once again, in your opinion, is Wrath Classic worth checking out when it comes out? So obviously, I'm more of a private server guy right now. I don't like that to be a label, not because I want to, you know, jump ship and uh, abandon all of you guys someday, because that's never going to be the case, but more because I know I don't like labels in general in real life. You call me a hippie or something, I just think labels suck. So the fact of the matter is, I'm a more more of a wow YouTuber, but even my slogan right now, if you want to call it that, is mostly World of Warcraft, because we will see. I mean, hey, my Lost Ark videos did actually way better on average than any wow video I put out, so hey, what do you say about that? I don't know. I'm obviously still analyzing all of this, but Wrath Classic is obviously World of Warcraft. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's also something I have a lot of nostalgia for. So anyway, I just remember back then, like, so many memories of the social experiences. I remember playing a gnome rogue in SFK, I lost Meteor Shard, and, uh, for some reason, because I'm like little 14 year old McDoubles, right? I have all these people in the group. I don't know how I got into a fight with these people, why there was always drama back then, because there always was, right? Uh, but they literally kicked me right before the boss, and then the dagger dropped. And dude, I had never been maxed before. This was a big deal to me to have this dagger. My dagger sucked. I was playing a rogue, man, and they kicked me, and they linked it to me, too. <laughs> They linked it to me after they kicked me just to let me know it dropped and I didn't get it. And just like the little things like that, obviously you would think that's a sad memory. To me, it's hilarious. It was only sad for like the first like, you know, obviously when I was a kid. But I look back at that kind of stuff and I'm like, that's wrath. That's nostalgia. That's fun. Is that going to happen again though? Probably not. Lots of you guys are leaving comments saying you're gonna do it. I'm going back to trying Wrath. Played a Death Knight. Dude, I wanted to play Death Knight so bad. I thought anybody that made a Death Knight in Wrath was a noob. I, I don't know why. It was dumb. It was like the old days when you literally made dumb decisions for no reason. I was like, oh my god, you're gonna give up your main class at level 55? What a freaking poser. What a sellout. How did- why did- I don't know. I remember my warrior friend quit his warrior to play a Death Knight, and I quit being his friend. I quit being his friend! Imagine, man. Um, those are the memories I have from Wrath. Wrath is the best expansion I think it might actually be, but this is about to prove a lot. I like Wrath, but I don't feel it's as amazing as everyone says. Maybe, maybe so. Like I said, I have a lot of like actual nostalgia from just being a different human at the time. But anyway, guys, what I really mostly wanted to do was just talk about it real quick, give you guys a little bit of my experiences and ideas, and uh, again, point out a few of the comments I think at the end. I'll be playing on a fresh server. Uh, please share your realm. I will, I promise you guys that, before you do some stuff, because we could have some community interactions. That would be interesting. Elevator red hyped for wrath man like that's the thing we'll see let me know in the comment section what you guys think though okay guys got the uh link from the last video let's go ahead and see who wins the giveaway from this video and once again if you want to enter the giveaway for the next uh, ascension video leave a comment in the comment section below give me your in game name in that comment and i'll random off uh, a random supporter's chest or uh, you know sometimes it's a mount who knows sometimes it's different things all of which you can sell for some big money pick a winner holy crap 
Bottomancer. Been following your content for a while now. Got into Ascension thanks to it. Going three weeks strong now with two characters and builds I've fallen in love with. Pure Shadow, great choice. Master of Shadows, all awesome choice as well. Being my jam at the moment and working hard on giving them thematic transmogs. That's awesome. Been tempted to try Healer. And seeing this video, and this is my Penance AoE video, pop up in my sub box was pretty perfect. And I do recommend it, but I actually more so recommend you actually going for the Holy Shock version of it, which I haven't done a video for yet, but I do talk about it. I think it's better. But his in-game name, Feeling Blue. Well, GG to you. And for this one, my friend, it's a Death Speaker supporter's chest. Grats, man. Keep up your journey. Hope you enjoy playing and collecting the transmogs for those awesome shadow builds you've got. GG. Hope this helps. Make doubles. There you go, buddy. GG feeling blue. But okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. The Combusting Shots Fire Marksman. I enjoyed giving it a try, playing it, and it turns out it's a build that already works. You just slap Combusting Shots on it, and you have the whole fire bit of fun. So anyway, if you enjoyed, like, and sub. I'll see you in the next one. Make doubles out. <laughs>